This is a must watch and a must share. Listen to senior Lincoln Project advisor Stuart Stevens absolutely come for Scott Perry and the Freedom Caucus. Scott Perry is not as well known as some of the other um, Cuckoo Batoo members of the Republican House, but he's the head of the Freedom Caucus, which makes him the head of probably the most powerful caucus in the House. And just an element from his long history of conspiracy theories. In January 2018, Perry speculated about an Islamic State connection to the mass shooting in Las Vegas the previous year, contradicting law enforcement's assertion that the accused gunman was working alone. I smell a rat like a lot of Americans. He sounds like Dan Burton. This guy doesn't seem all the way I don't know, the, the, the plug isn't plugged all the way into the wall. And yet, here he is on this committee alongside, what, 16 out of 26 members of the committee are election deniers. How's that going to work out? Well, Joy, you know, there's a long, um, and I don't think you'd call it honorable tradition, of that Perry is, is falling into. Uh, Dan Burton, who was investigating the Clintons for a sex scandal, had a child uh, to a woman he wasn't married to, he had to admit. Um, Daryl Issa was arrested as a car thief. So now, uh, you know, charged with a felony. So uh, now you have Perry, whose phone was seized by the FBI, who uh, was still will not admit that Joe Biden is a legally elected president. He endorsed Mastriano, who was one of the a guy that hired people and paid them to come uh, be part of this insurrection, paid for their transportation. It, look, this is very bad for the country. But I have to say, in just a political sense, it's going to be good for Democrats. Because nobody cares about this stuff. And these are just nutty, unserious people. I mean, the more you could, Democrats can put Marjorie Taylor Greene on the ballot, the better off they're going to be. I mean,